Hello friends and welcome to the weekly uh, Prepper Pantry Food Storage for Cold War Prepper. My name is Lee. So we made a trip up to Fort Hood. Yes, I still call it Fort Hood. I'm not woke. Um, <clears throat> and I can prove to you it's Fort Hood. I've got one set of orders assigning me in 1972 uh, to the 303rd ASA Battalion, Fort Hood, Texas with duty at NSA, Fort Meade, Maryland. Then I've got another set of orders dated 1980, uh, assigning me to the 303rd MI Battalion, Fort Hood, Texas. And so um, I've been assigned to Fort Hood twice. Of course, the second time it was with duty at Goodfellow Air Force Base. <clears throat> so although I was assigned there twice, I really didn't step foot on it. But <clears throat> to me, I've got the paperwork proving it's Fort Hood. So I'm not woke and I'm not changing the name. Uh, anyhow, let's get into the prepper pantry. So we did get up to Fort Hood Commissary and, uh, and got some neat stuff, and I'll share that with you as we go along. So um, let's start off over here. So at the Fort Hood uh, Commissary, we did pick up some Spätzle. Uh, so we got the, the uh, and these, this is all by Magi. So we got the uh, Spätzle and Champignon sauce, and two of those, that's the mushroom sauce Spätzle, or the, the, uh, uh, Hunter or, or Jaeger Spätzle, and then we got the uh, Käse Spätzle, uh, mit Rotzwiebeln, with, with roasted uh, onions. So, um, yeah, it's, it's pronounced in German Spätzle, even though in English we call it Spätzle. So I, uh, I speak German, so I'm going to call it the Spätzle. Uh, we've got three packages, believe it or not, of Hamburger Helper Chili Macaroni. Cannot find this anywhere. It's not at HEB, it's not at Target, it's not at uh, Walmart. Just cannot find it locally. So we found we found it there at Fort Hood. So we picked up three boxes. Uh, we got in four cans of emergency essentials. I am all for, and I am a distributor of Thrive Life. I am also an affiliate of Nutrient Survival. Uh, but I am all for getting the maximum amount of food that you can to survive the coming problems at the best possible price. I'll tell you when it's best to pick up Thrive Life or Emergency Essentials uh, and when it's best to pick up uh, Nutrient Survival. So uh, I think the best thing is to make sure we all survive. I do have a pending order for a can of Nutrient Survival Vitamin Enhanced Milk out and so that should be arriving here shortly. So we picked up one can of hash browns, one can of strawberries, one can of green beans, and one can of bananas. Uh, picked up another can of dog food, can of cream of chicken soup, Rotel tomatoes. Uh, found this at the commissary. It was really interesting. Haven't seen it down here, but the glory seasoned refried, or I'm sorry, fried apples. That looks very interesting. Got two cans of Mario black uh, olives and one can of pearl sliced olives. So those looked interesting as well. Uh, at the commissary, I was able to get number two coffee filters. This is for my pour over system. Uh, so that's a hundred coffee filters there. A bag of Lifesavers hard candy. Um, big box of the burger with cheddar cheese flavor uh, Purina dog food, 36 pouches. So they get one of these each per week. Uh, so this will last us for 12 weeks. Um, then down here, you got some Night Eyes um, slide locking uh, systems and that's so I can redo my, our, our bug out bags. We did get in a package of Algerson Farm dried whole egg powder from Amazon. Now remember the difference between uh, dried whole egg powder and scrambled eggs. Uh, this is what you need for baking and uh, making bread and things like that. You cannot use the scrambled egg powder. So you need the dried whole egg powder and that's what you're gonna use for, your, uh, for cooking and baking. Um, Got in some seeds. Uh, these are all herbs and spices. Got in two books, basically, the food storage for preppers. Ingrid, uh, who is one of my subscribers, reminded me that there was a fantastic video out by Col uh, Canadian Prepper on the ideal books for a uh, um, prepper library. And so I watched it. I did not have this book, so I went ahead and ordered it. Uh, I had most of the others that he recommends. Then I got in my monthly Mother Earth News, uh, preserving maximum nutrition, foraging, herbal pest prevention, really great uh, 
magazine this month. Uh, a box of ammunition. This is for the pistol. So, uh, I, of course, I have to have the most expensive rifle and the most expensive pistol ammunition out there. At the commissary, we were able to get uh, the Kung Pao chicken seasoning mix, the uh, scampi uh, shrimp mix, and then egg flour soup mix. We did get two more pounds of uh, rice, and that'll go into our uh, pantry. I'll get that wrapped up and everything else. Picked up two more uh, reading glasses, <clears throat> and then I also got uh, two packages of MREs. When we went down to the commissary at uh, Randolph Air Force Base, uh, which was well, just over a year ago, we went down to the JAG to redo our, our uh, wills. And uh, we stopped at the commissary there. We got two MREs. They were something like eight seventy-five dollars each. Uh, this week, or yesterday, uh, July 20th, at uh, the commissary at Fort Hood, they were twelve seventy-five dollars each. So uh, these are the standard issue MREs. We got these. They're supposedly good for another two years, but I think they'll last a little longer than that because of, uh, we'll keep them in a cool, dark place. <clears throat> I sent off and received a uh, 100 uh, Miraculous Medals from the Association of Miraculous Medals and a couple bookmarks. And uh, so that's part of my faith foundation as far as uh, when SHTF happens. Uh, I will try to be giving out some crucifixes, Bibles, and uh, miraculous medals just try to keep people's uh, spirits up and let them know that there is something that we can all live for. So that's pretty much it for the week ending Friday, July, I think today's the 21st. And uh, hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Please take it safe and be safe. And remember that we're all in this together so we can come out the other side together. Please be kind, polite, and respectful to each other because togetherness is the key. Take care. Bye-bye.